Hello, this is Lillian Strombo, and today I'm actually starting a series on Minecraft, specifically a modded version that's called Galacticraft. It's been out for a while, but it's one of the mods that I actually typically go back and play all the time. It just adds a fun twist into the Minecraft series, and basically what it does, it adds a space dimension where you basically get materials on the overworld where you can basically assemble rocketry stuff and go to the moon or to a satellite or to other planets that are out there. But before we before we get into that, I want to make sure we everybody has a good understanding of how to get this thing set up. So you need to install, you need to buy, purchase, get Minecraft installed, your Java version, I don't know what they call it these days. Get that installed up and running for the first time on your machine so you can, you know, have the base game. But once that's done, you need to do some modifications to it. One of the first things you want to do is, and you can search for this, you can search for uh, Minecraft Forge. Forge is a modding system for it. Um, so you can search that on the net. You can pick a specific version. Specifically, you need to get the 1.12.2 version, whatever the latest one. This is an older set, but this is the one, this is the latest version of Forge that, that actually supports the latest version of Galacticraft. Now you can have different versions for other stuff, but for Galacticraft 1.12.2, you need 1.12.2 of Forge. So once you get your Minecraft up and running, you want to basically run this file. It's going to give you an option to run it for a client or a service server version. This is for the client. This is just what's on your desktop. So basically you're going to choose for client. It's going to install the modding system that's on there. Once that's done, you want to start up Minecraft for the first time. And in your .minecraft folder, it's going to create the initial, uh, the initial folder structures, including the mod folders that are in there. And once you've got that base thing, you can quit out of there. The next thing you're going to need to do is get the Galacticraft files. Now, what I found out with this is that I went out to the Galacticraft, and there's a site out there, mcdoodle8, dot blah, 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 and I'll put a thing down in the notes to specify where it's at. But we can't download the files anymore. I have the files. I'll make sure they're available somewhere. I'll put a post-it note on that. But there's three files that you need on there. One is the basic Galacticraft mod, the 1.12.2 version. This is your base thing. The planets are basically the actual realms, kind of like if you go to the, the nether zone or, you know, to the overworld. It's a zone. So these are the planet zones that basically you can access. You need both of these. And then there's a McDoodle uh, core, a core piece. This is their stuff to make this work. You need all three of these put into the mod folder so you can run this. So I'm going to pop out of here. I'm going to show you where the mod folder is, at least on the Windows version of this. You can find them in the .Mac the same way. So I'm gonna launch Minecraft. Now all the files are in here, so I can go and search them, but once you get the, the initial launcher that's set up here, you wanna to go to the installations. You should see a Forge installation after you've run that install, and it should have a 1.12.2, it's there. If you have another version, it'll just be another piece that's out there. Now you can still play Minecraft on its own, the latest one, it's 120.1. Or you can go play this one. When you go to play, you can choose which one to start. And it'll remember, latest one, latest release, Forge. I basically got it on Forge. So I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to bring this folder up. Actually, I'm going to go back out. And I'm going to go here. This is your Minecraft folder. Now, what it's just going to do is going to put in your, one of your profiles. Um, if I look at this, it's going to be in your users, your whatever your username here, app data, roaming. It's going to have your, you know, your your dot Minecraft folder. These are where all the files are getting installed. Specifically, this mods folder. If you go in there, you can see that I've actually put these in here. This library came from something from Forge, so that's not part of mine. But you can see the other mods are in here. So they're loaded up. They're just the jar files. They're just dropped in there, and you know, once you start up the game with Forge, it'll read those in. So let me show that. I'm going to click on play. We're on Forge 1.12.2. Bring up this. Do, do, do. Takes a little bit to start up your stuff here. Now, uh, one of the other things, I do go ahead and edit it. By default, I think you get like two uh, megs or two gigs of RAM allocated to it. I bump it up to four. It just seems to run a little bit better for me. I have enough memory to do that. So I run this thing at four gigs. And uh, you get in here, you can sit here, you can see if you want to see what mods you have. You can see, you know, here's the Galactic Craft one, the McDoodle one, whatever else. It lists them in there. But I'm going to start up a single player game. Now, this is what I'm going to come into a second, and I'll talk about that. But I'm going to create a new world here. I'm just going to call this uh, uh, my YouTube demo. Uh, YT demo. I'm not going to, I'm going to go ahead just for simple sake. I'm going to put on creative mode, create the new world. 
So this way you can go in there and not have to worry about mobs and stuff, and I can show you some of the, the assets, um, basically how, how you get started with this. Do, do, so it's got to build this out. And once we get in, great, I'm under a tree somewhere. Who knows? Pop up here, let's see what I look like. Oh, big forestry area. Now this is kind of important when you start out because this is, you're going to build like a launch pad where you're launching a rocket and stuff. So I, you know, different points I play and put things in different spots. So I said it's just easier to do it on creative mode to show it here. I don't play in creative. I basically play either in survival, but mainly I play in hardcore mode. And hardcore mode, we'll talk about that, is just, just a lot of fun. Um, pop over here. I'm going to see some of the assets that are in here. This is your, let's see, brewing this, that. Let's see if I can get my... There. I'm going to scroll back up to here. There are a lot of the pieces I could add it in here. So, when we get in there, it adds a ton of work, like machinery. Like, uh, this is an oxygen compressor. This is a thing that will take oxygen so you can fill up O2 tanks. You're in space or on a different planet, you need oxygen tanks to survive. This is an oxygen collector. This will, in an oxygen space, will gather oxygen from there, pull it down and, you know, pull it down so you can use it and capture it, maybe feed it into this compressor where you fill up something. Um, a bubble. This is where you can basically, if you're like on the moon, you can make a bubble area that provides oxygen in a, in, in a spot. So there's all types of machinery to do this. This is a workbench to build your rocket ships. There's new ore, there's copper, tin, aluminum, uh, silicon. Um, there's gonna be some other stuff depending on what planets you get to. There are portals, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff um, to basically make this work. But the idea is that on Earth, or on the overworld, you can go and build your stuff launch a rocket, go up into space, take stuff up there, start to live and survive out there, and you just have different worlds to do. Um, you've got to collect power. You've got to, you know, you've got things like solar panels. Um, there's suits you have to do. It's just, it's a really crazy environment. Too. It's just a lot of fun in the, in the Minecraft world. I just, out of all the mods I've ever played, this is like one of my number one most favorite, just kind of go-to kind of, uh, kind of mod that's out there. So, you know, once you got that installed, you, you can play with other mods. What you don't want to do is, um, oh, by the way, this is like cheese ore. You can find cheese ore on the moon. <laughs> That's just funny. Um, one of the things you, you don't want to do, though you can combine different mods, you don't want to put mods together that um, generate different ore spawns. Uh, I think when my daughter was playing one with the, uh, what do you call it, the, the fossil, there's an archaeology one but it changes some of the things you dig out. You can find fossils and stuff. If you put two or more different systems, they're competing for space. So it's really hard to find enough ore for one versus the other. So don't mix mods with that have different ores or different types of resources to pull up out of the ground. Um, but I said, once you've done that, you know, you can build a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna hop out of here and I'm just gonna start and bring into another one. This is a, a hardcore mode. I'm gonna get rid of this demo. It's not going to be around. This is a hardcore mode. If you've never played hardcore mode, it's survival mode, but you have one life. If you die, you're done. So it's not an easy thing to do. It's very easy to die. And if you die once, the game's done. You just can't do anything else. You can't play it anymore. So um, I've been playing this one for a bit. I'm, I'm still on the overworld. I haven't made it to the moon, but I've got enough of a startup. So I've got a little bit of a space up here that I found or I'm growing some, you know, resources and stuff. I got my portal. But basically I've got a little set of doors in here. This is kind of like where I started. And some, you know, ovens and stuff and some boxes. This just goes out to a point, this is out to a boat. So I get out to a different part of the world. Ah, come on, there we go. Now, first thing I do is I always throw a bed up here so I can turn it off and I will, I build a workshop. I'm a mining freak. <laughs> I love mining. I always take and do a path straight down to, I think the Y chord or Z chord is 13. 13 is kind of where I start out. It's enough where I can find diamond and, and whatnot. So it's 13 units above or 13 blocks above bedrock or the base. So I always go down here and the way I mine is I just do long strips. I throw up a torch every 
probably every 10 or 15 spots. And that's how I did, you know, go and reach my resources. This is actually my workshop, and I've started doing some stuff here. I actually started doing a lot of stuff. First thing, I started building out some, um, you know, I got my ovens down here. I got things like where I can, um, you know, some of my resources are organized. Um, let's do that. You know, I've got my iron. This is tin, aluminum, copper, gold, diamond, silicon. This is all my base stuff that I use to create stuff. This is just crazy random stuff I just do. I do a lot with uh, stone brick, so I take all the cobble I get, I always burn it and in the ovens and get stone brick and use that to build everything out. So I collect a lot of stone brick that's out there. Um, and then I use it. So if you look at this, this has all been replaced. Um, this right here is just like a little extension I've got. I said I'm at the, you know, very, very low on the, on the, in here, I said level, 13th level on the Z spot. But this is where I go and I, you know, start doing all my mining. And you see just lots and lots and lots and lots of mining. I need ore. I need all those materials. So I go through and do all this crazy stuff. So I just branch out and do long, straight things of mining. I'll go out and mine like like an entire diamond axe worth of mining or as much as I carry, I can carry. Um, so I can bring it back, redo it, get everything all set up. Um, so once I get enough, I start building out the machines that are for Galactic Craft. Um, I've got a couple over here. I'll go with, over these in, in another video, the next video. Um, I also go through, got a bed down here. That's my NASA workbench. It's a little bit taller. This is something you can use to where you to build your rockets. Uh, and you have to build certain components to make a rocket ship. Once you've got that, you've got to build out enough of a, a launch pad so you can place your rocket on here. Now, I said I'm down on level, the 13th level on, on the Z coordinate. If you look down here, um, you can see on the screen, probably about the fifth line, sixth line down on the left, the XYZ. I'm on level 13 there in the middle. Um, so in order to get this, I got to launch into space. I've never built a rocket launch pad underground. So I did this and then very meticulously, I mined out the entire structure all the way up through the trees and all that. It's really hard to do it without dying and doing it not in creative mode, but I did it and it's there. And sometimes I need to get up there. I've got some power and stuff so I can go up there and I've built out a, um, a ladder that gets me all the way to the top. So I can go up there and reach out and do some things. Now, one of the main things I need to do besides clearing out the whole thing, I need to get some power. You need to do that with solar panels and that needs sunlight. So having an access up here to go up here, I'll do this almost to the top. Do, do, do. Now you don't want to fall. If you fall, you're dead. This is hardcore mode and you're, and you're done. Uh, so as you can see, I've done here. Let me carefully get over there. I can come up here. I've got a couple of solar panels up here and they're cable with wire. Now they go down literally, if you look here, this spot, those wires, I wired down all the way back down to the base. So I can, you know, any of the power that that collects, I can go down and do that. So we're gonna go back down the, the ladder here and you just kind of drop down. I just let it take me down slowly. I don't go up here too much. I always get scared. I don't want to die ridiculously. But every time I need, if I need power or need something, I need to change, make a change up there. Um, then I can go up there safely and do that. I could do it through the overworld, but then I'm there's mobs up there that I just don't want to deal with. Oops. So let's go through there. Um, but yeah, so this is it. So it's you know it's you have to do a lot of setup to to kind of get things ready. I still don't have enough to get out to the moon. Um, but I'm on my way. I said I've got some some things in here. Um, I said it's a really cool mod. If you haven't played Galactic Craft, I highly suggest it. Um, if you've got a server that you can mod and put Forge on, great. Put it on there. You can share it. You can you go in, you know, either in survival mode or creative mode. You can do a competition. You can do a, a space race. So if you have different people playing, you can be who can put a flag up there first and launch into space first and, and that kind of stuff. And it's just, it's just a lot of fun. Um, next video, I'll talk about some of these and how and why I built this out this way and what's next. And then what I'm going to do is actually keep recording videos. This is hardcore mode. So um, if I die, I die. So I'm not I'm not just going to make some videos. I'll start streaming this on Twitch as well. Do some live streaming. I, I think that's just a fun part. You know, you know, the idea is not to die. Uh, if I die on it, well, that makes great content. I'll be sad because it's all, you know, I've, I've really lost the, all the work. 
But um, that's just part of the excitement of playing on hardcore mode. So you can see some, I put signs on everything so I can tell what they are. I don't like things sticking up out of the ground. I bury things as much as I can. Circuit fabricators is where I can make different circuits for it. Here's where I can store energy. That energy the solar panels are creating. This is a, a metallic crafting table. Basically, you know, when you use a crafting table, sometimes you put stuff on and if you get rid of it, you get out, it goes back to your inventory. On here, it stays. I love that. So I love the little metallic one. Coal generator. Before I get other power, I need a coal generator to take coal and give me some energy. This is a coal compressor. This is how I take things like ingots and make it into plates. Uh, so there's a lot more stuff than that, but uh, there's my anvil. I call this my space supplies, things I put in there. Circuit, you know, chips that I make, solar panel stuff. Uh, you know, you need tin canisters. These are poles for like uh, my flagpole or for, for whatever else. Uh, different wiring and stuff. You need a lot of cotton, cotton and aluminum and stuff to make wiring. And so I said, it's just a lot of fun, a lot of intricacies. Um, I'll go into it in more detail in the next videos. Um, I said in the notes, I'll put information on where you can find the stuff on the net. The forge you can download from that, install that. I'm having trouble finding Galacticraft, the mods out there. So I'll put a link to it. I'll throw it on one of my servers to make sure if anybody wants to play it, they can get at it. But I said, if you haven't played it, um, it's a great thing. It adds a whole nother dimension to Minecraft and I just absolutely adore it. It's just a great thing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you join me on the rest of the adventures. If you can find me on Twitch when I'm streaming this, please go ahead. Everything out there is under Elena Strongbow, whether it's on Twitch, Instagram, or on YouTube. Um, I said it's a lot of fun. Hope to share that with people. Hope they get a kick out of it. Um, haven't been streaming or making videos for a while, so this is kind of another first entry back into it after a long time off. It's been a minute since I've been doing that, but hope you can enjoy me on the adventures and have some fun. If you got any questions, put it in the comments. If you're liking what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up. Subs are free. That's always great to do. Um, just shows me and gives me encouragement to keep doing this stuff. Um, and I said I hope to see you out there. Once again, this is Elena Strombo. Uh, I'll explain that one later. Elena is my in-game name. Yes, I'm a guy, but I play a female character. I just have for nearly 25 years. So Elena is just what people call me. Um, Said so you got questions, um, drop them out there. Hope to see you soon. You take care and have a good day. Bye.